Hello and welcome to Lord Fenton Gameplays The Bar Cell 4 Director's Cut. I'm your host Lord Fenton. Today's The Bar Cell 4 video. We're still doing the Doppelganger Part 2 of the uh, story mission. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Bar Cell content like this. So, what happened in the last video was is we got a new uh, Dwarven uh, fighter. He got blamed for things that he didn't do. Yeah, let's clear his name. But first, let's uh, get this puzzle done. So, just try to follow exactly what I'm going to do. Hopefully it'll work, and there you uh, have it. Yes, friends? If you're here to buy, I've the finest armor in Scarabri. If you're here for a match, I've... I've retired. On holidays, I used to wrestle on the green. Took on anyone with a coin in the guts. Beat more men than anyone in Scarabri, even Smithy Wadsworth, despite what he says. But the Fatherite's been giving me the once over twice lately. So I'm keeping my head down for now. Don't want him deciding it's time to throw out the foreigner. Pah! Born here, just like every other man of Keith. But these Lestra newcomers don't even bother to ask. Something for everyone. Thanks. Come back any time. Hot soup! Delicious! Oh, you're back. You are still not worthy. Wrapped scallions! Oh, a customer. Welcome. I... Oh, you're an adventurer, I. Right. No other customers. I can show you my special stock, but we'll have to be quick. I know it's risky, but I'm just starting in tailoring, and I don't have many regular customers yet, so I'm selling to... irregular customers to make the rent. Robes for practitioners specifically. Would you like a look? Here. You look. I'll keep watch. Thanks for coming, and tell your friends. Greetings. Looking for a hired sword? Need things done around the house? Liz. Donald, I am not going to sit and do nothing in the face of my own death. Among other things, was a house carl in the Stenish Isles until I had a falling out with my Jarl. Then served as a mercenary here and in Lestris for twenty years until I met Liz. After that, I was her protection on her expeditions, and then her husband. As you can see, I am not the man I was. My sword arm's gone, but I've been practicing with my left. It's a step down from what I'm used to, I'll admit. I was once one of the finest relic hunters in Keith. There's not a cave or ruin I haven't found the bottom of. And there's many a treasure displayed at the Lord's table that I brought out of the darkness. But that sort of work is beyond me now. So, I'll do what I must. A wasting disease. For a long time we didn't know what it was or where it came from. And we ruined ourselves paying doctors and charlatans for cures that did nothing. I gave my right arm, literally, to a practitioner who said he could give it strength to Liz. Now I'm armless, and she's no better. And we're both broke. All the money I made selling relics gone. We've even lost our house. We need ski at, or we need a miracle. Recently we learned what we think is the true cause of the sickness. A sage we visited asked if Liz had ever touched any relics of the charm. I had. More than a year ago, Donal and I were exploring a ruin when I found a strange black mirror built into a hidden room. I felt a strange dizziness when I looked into it, but it passed and I thought nothing more of it. I am convinced now that the mirror was a thing of the charm. The sage suggested the mirror had stolen some vital essence from Liz, 
and that if we could smash it, the essence would be freed and Liz might recover. But she is too weak now to travel, and I can no longer protect her, and so we seek work so that we might have enough to hire adventurers. You? You will go? You will find the mirror, knowing we cannot pay. Thank you. This is more than we could have hoped for. We're in your debt. Here is the location of the ruin. The secret room is in the lowest part. May fortune speed you. Thank you. The fist fire does have some nice uh, goods. Number one, the soup Nazi is still a jerk about saying we're not worthy of the soup. And last but not least, those two friendly folks over there, the female is cursed. We gotta break that curse. However, we cannot do it in this video. It's a side mission. One day I'll find it, break the mirror, and make her happy. So what we're gonna do right now is another uh, puzzle. Yeah, that's block. And when we get through it, it's a puzzle. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, puzzles in this game, so get used to it. Well, guess what? Bar's Tale 2 was a, a puzzle. Yeah, that was called the uh, Death Snares. Yeah, that was a big time puzzle. So over here, we gotta move one more. I think that does do it. Let me make sure this is right. Yeah, I wanna make sure. Okay, something tells me to go over here. Oh, wow, it's already open. Hmm, I didn't know that. Well, follow my steps. I'll put timestamps in the uh, video. And there you go, some more free loot in the form of food. Yeah, food is very important in this game. Food is your healing source. And if you uh, make some goodies, well, heals you up very nicely. And that's the sandwich right there. That is good. Yeah, that was very useful getting those recipes. And if you ever do find any more recipes, go get them. They are extremely useful in this game. So now, it's time to clear our Dwarven friend's uh, name. Why our uh, trial buddy and I, well, it's going to be hard for us to clear our name. Yeah, really hard, but still, we're going to keep on going. Just keep on looking around. All right, that's blocked for now, so I guess we cannot use that shortcut until uh, later, much, much uh, later. That's pretty good, though. So that's a shortcut to uh, old uh, Scar of Bray, and this is a uh, new Scar of Bray. And new Scar of Bray is really beneficial with all these uh, goodies we are smashing up. Oh, wow, look at that. Nice garden. More herbs. Yeah, well, underground you can't grow uh, herbs, so... Take advantage of it, I seriously say. Take full advantage of it. Would you look at that? Nice save stone. That's very good right there. Now we uh, save, got ourselves healed up. Just in case any more uh, blackguards, I mean paladins, will try assault us. Oh, wow, I forgot I missed those. Let's grab those. See here, those are blue herbs. Those are really good right there. And another blue herbs. Really good. Something tells me... Uh, it might make uh, spell point potions, but let's get ahead uh, right now. Hey, you! You can't be in here. Garth's is a respectable business. We don't sell to adventurers and the old races. The paladins buy from us. That's right. We've got the seal of approval from Bishop Henry himself. Official armorers to the temple. Sorry, friends. Have to make a big show brushing you off, just in case the Fatherites are watching. But it looks like the coast is clear. If you want anything, just let me know. It's been terrible since Henry's become bishop. Worse every day. I'd run below and join the Adventurers Guild like you. But, but Garth's is an institution in Scarabray. If I closed it, I couldn't face my ancestors, could I? Have a look. Come back any time. Well, unfortunately, the shop owner is fearful. And because of that fear, she is secretly selling to us, which is tragic. Thanks a lot, Paladins. At least the farmer uh, is all right. Yeah, he's fine. And we're gonna explore around for more uh, goodies. Unfortunately, this game cannot bust into houses, but that's fine. Anyway, there is an elven uh, weapon puzzle. That's really good right there. 
I have to solve those puzzles one time. Something tells me we'll get something nice out of it. Kind of like a reward system. So make sure you do actually uh, go over anything before uh, moving on with the uh, story. Let's look over here some more in case I did miss anything. Nope. I think I cleared almost everything out. I gotta be careful walking in case I uh, walk on some wooden planks, fall down, take some falling damage. Which a big ol' ouch. I think that's it for now. That was just a whole bunch of NPCs gave us some vital information. I do mean vital, by the way. And that uh, two of them gave us a nice side quest. And the uh, fist fire right there uh, is a nice fender. So now let's move on with the story. And there's some evil uh, busket heads to take out. With the three of us, it should be no problem at all. Let's get them. You are not prepared for this. Ready when you are. Here's ah! the soul for the move. Yep. Pardon? Yeah. Pass it through. Yeah. What should I do? The sword father will not let me die. Tell me. I'm just squeeze by. I'm ready. Behind. You can't see me. Nah. I stand strong, like the temple. Let me just... Tell me what you need. Here. Ready. Seven class. Ready. Aye. Tell me. Ready when you are. Yep. Oh, 
Um. Tell me what you need. Tell me what you need. like we all leveled up look like we're gonna eat some food though since I've been dodging a lot which is very good I do need to make more uh, potions eventually I do need to invest in uh, healing items or healing spells more often mainly spells though let's see if they got any restoration spells I did get through the three bars tell with that spell very well all right that looks good right there let's see which one is better that's good for our uh, dwarven uh, buddy here all right, that's not bad. So that's good right there. Chainmail is always good. So now next up there is a save stone up ahead. Something tells me, oh wow, Degalish is going to learn us a new uh, song. And we get to crack walls with it. Dude, you're great. Thank you very much, seriously. Our uh, trial buddy uh, Ringneck here gave us a nice uh, hint loot song. That's really good. So if we get a practitioner or a bard, I want something else different from them. Looks like the, each of the three, uh, I guess the special NPCs will give you a special song, which is great right there. Really good. So what I am going to do is uh, craft some uh, goodies, potions, and Sarah. There you go. Now up ahead will be a battle. As soon as I uh, do win the battle, and then I should get everything set and look for a save point at least, or just save, just in case there's some serious trouble. So I'm going to get into combat and uh, smash these uh, busket heads up really bad because they do deserve to be smashed up. Take your targets. Tell me. Well, thick in my skin. I... Oh. 
Some never lost yet. Yes, son of a bitch. <laughs> Yeah, away I go. Stand aside. Right here. I'm wide open. Tell me what you need. Ready. What should I do? Out of my way. Tell me. Yeah. Ready. Here, on your Right here. Here. Hi. You can't see me. Uh. All right, those busket heads are uh, dead, so there you go. There's some nice new uh, headgear right there. I'll uh, check that out off screen, but for now, I am going to eat, and I am going to charge in. Now, what's going to happen is we're going to be facing a uh, mini boss inside. He's a practitioner, so somehow we need to interrupt his uh, magic. So we're going to go in there and storm the uh, palace and save Paladin uh, Tavish. Hopefully we save him ASAP. Oh boy. Take off your beard, you faker. Come and try it, you doppelganger. You're not even a dwarf. Tell me. This just gets worse. Ha! Had you wondering, didn't I? Your days of ruining reputations are over, imposter. I'm gonna drag you through the streets. Ha! They hang you for it! I'm gonna beat you like an anvil. You oh, God. Son of a fool. Ready. You can't see me! Keep it here! Flabe inferni! Ibicus mios comburit! Behind! Tell me what you need. Coming through! On your ward. Ha! Ready when you are! Here. Come on, you tinkers! Stop. 
What did you say? Yeah. <laughs> What should I do? A really good. Tell me what you need. Ready. Something afoot, isn't there? A deliberate attempt to turn we father rights against you and the other old races. When I recover, I will tell my commander what I have seen. I will tell him we are being lied to. I... I'm sorry, my friend. Don't. Ah, now, Captain, why'd you have to go and do that? The poor man. It isn't fair at all. You cunning bastard. If I get my hands on you... This is bad. This is really bad. We have, uh, been too late. Delgalicia's doppelganger was really an evil practitioner that summoned goblins. We have taken care of the goblins and definitely take care of the practitioner and learn about practitioners, how they cast spells. Well, the evil ones at least. But poor uh, Tavish. He was a real McCoy. He was a, a real paladin. A really good guy and we lost him. We were too late. Now the three of us are fugitives are being blamed for uh, his murder too. And looking at everybody's skill, that all looks good right there. The two NPCs are going to be only temporarily. 
I'm going to have mercenary coins and bring in my uh, crew, but still, they're nice to have, though. Nice option to have for now. Look at everybody's skills. Yeah, something tells me I might have to put a few more points into it for something special to happen. That looks good right there. More uh, gold or more attack. Yeah, that looks really good. All right, that looks great right there. And I think I'm going to try to build his defense more. Maybe. That looks good right there. That looks very good. Yeah, give him some more armor options since he's a tank. Let's review what went down. We have killed some uh, busket heads, defeated evil practitioner, rest in peace, uh, Paladin uh, Tavish. In the next video, we're going to do Elven Willies. This is uh, Lord Fenton signing off. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, everyone.